Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to be unboxing, setting up, and giving a quick overview of this outbound four-person dome tent that I picked up at Canadian Tire for only $80. Stick around for this week's gear review. Hi, my name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by hitting the like, subscribe, and bell notification buttons so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get on with this week's unboxing and gear review. I picked up this outbound four-person dome tent for Canadian Tire. It was only $80, which I thought was a great deal. Um, as you guys might know if you've been following the channel for a while, I have a couple other tents already. I have the big Cabela's Alacnac uh, 10x10 tent, which uh, I use for hunting trips or for um, stuff like that. And I have a little one-man tent, but I'm really missing that niche of something small that I can get out with with just the kiddos uh, or that the kids can use uh, for camping with their friends. So I picked up this four-person tent, only 80 bucks, which I thought was an absolutely awesome deal so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna open up this box see what's inside it I'm gonna set it all up and uh, give you guys a little snapshot or a little overview about what you get just in case you're considering buying this tent okay there's another look here at the bag so it says it's about four feet tall probably in the center and then as you can see here again you got that one year limited warranty it's about nine feet by seven feet it has these easy setup shock corded fiberglass uh, frames so what i imagine is that's the poles are probably connected with the shock cord inside to make it easier to set up you got a zip window and mesh panels and it says it's water resistant 600 millimeter uh, coated fabric rain fly and zipper cover um, i don't know if you guys can see over here but uh, it says it has interior mesh storage pockets uh, waterproof bathtub floor extends vertically up the tent for ultimate weather protection with no ground seams includes your tent stake skylines carry bag and assembly instructions so this is uh i think build as a four season or three season tent i should say you can see it's a uh, made in bangladesh um, so anyways we're gonna pop it open take a look and see what it's like I love when they include the owner's manual attached to the tent. I think that that's such a good idea. So you're not risking, you know, losing these things, right? So that's pretty nice. So let's take a look here. So she's packed inside this cardboard tube. First thing I'll take a look at are these tent pegs. Inside this bag, you know, you got your super cheap tent pegs which I'm sure will not work very well in really hard ground. I usually look at replacing my tent pegs um, on tents like this, but it comes with some tent pegs and it comes with your guy lines inside this little bag. You got these little guys tied up with your little straps. Inside there, we got our tent poles. We got our outer fly right there and then the inner tent right there so let's get her set up and we'll see how she goes okay so the first thing I think to call out is I noticed that you have some different uh, poles you got one obviously thinner shorter one which is going to be used for your rain fly and you got the two other ones which will be used as your kind of cross point so basically what I'm going to do is I'll thread these pegs uh, across the tent we'll probably poke it through the, the corners, stake it down so it kind of has that sort of shape that we need to, and then this other little guy runs through the rain fly. So uh, let's get her set up and uh, we'll see how this goes. See how long it takes too, maybe for interest's sake. Let's go. got a little channel here to feed the pole through. Do 
usually what I do is I'll feed them through first and then I'll peg them into the corners and get her stood up. Again, you got another little channel over here to feed it into. There's a gap in the middle and then it goes over top or under and back into the other channel. Now let's stand up the sides. In five minutes, I kind of have the outside of the tent all set up. I wasn't going to peg this thing down, but I think just uh, as you guys can tell, it's probably windy. So I am going to put a few tent pegs down on the corners just to stop this thing from blowing away. One thing I noticed that I like is that you have this little electrical wire plug in. So if you're in a camping situation where you can run power, you can kind of feed it through here, which is really nice because it will keep, you know, the bugs and such. I noticed out. on the bottom, I don't know if you guys can tell here or not, but basically I got the pole fed onto the little metal thing that kind of sticks off of this ring. A lot of tents will have added kind of cloth off the corners to kind of peg things down. I notice this one does not. And I'll be honest, this nylon does not feel like the absolute strongest of quality, but um, I'm sure she'll do the trick. But we kind of got the skull and bones of it set up. Now we just got to put the rain fly on. So the rain fly pole will feed through this, which goes over the front. So I'm going to kind of feed this thing over the top and we'll get this guy set up. Looks as though it has these little hook systems to kind of uh, hook onto the same little metal circles off the corners. Interesting. So up at the top, it just, uh, the pole just kind of threads through probably like a little six inch bit. And then there are some grommets that the pole fits into. Normally I'm used to the pole kind of going down, I guess, all the way down to the corners, right? But on this guy, it actually just fits in these grommets. Here, I'll show you. See what I mean? So it kind of fits through that little channel and then back into each of the grommets. So there you guys go. We, we pretty much got her set up. We would have these tie down points. So this is where you would attach your guy lines to add a little bit more stability. So there you go, over there. The other thing that we probably would want to do as you guys can see, these um, little Velcro bits. So what these would do is your poles would go under them and you'd wrap around the Velcro just to kind of add to the stability here off the corners. There's another tie down point. This is another one of our Velcro points. That's another tie down point. Oh, and we missed this Velcro point too. All right, so it was about a 15 minute setup, guys. So nothing too crazy. I'll show you inside kind of what the tent looks like, but here off the door, we do have a zip out window, right? So I can open up the window and um, let some air flow in. That, this is the only entrance to the tent. Um, you can tie up the door. I don't know if you guys can see here or not, but we have these little toggles that you can use to tie up the door. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. Uh, I'll show you inside. There's the toggles. So you got one toggle there, a second toggle up at the top. Inside it's pretty simple. You got one little storage pouch over there. You got a second little storage pouch up there. And I always do like when they include some sort of attachment point at the top. So, I mean, in theory, you can, um, you know, hang a lantern or something from there. One thing I noticed I missed is you have this little um, extra piece that I forgot to run through. But I would imagine that this little guy would go onto the top pole. Again, just to add more stability up and down, which is probably important, especially if you're hanging something from there. I do like the cover over the zipper. I mean, you got a full cover all the way over the zipper. And the nice thing here too, is you got two zippers, right? So you can open it from the bottom, you can open it from the top, which I also like, especially if you're trying to get out of the 
tent in the middle of the night for a bio break. But yeah, the uh, zipper is well covered. I'll be honest with you, the zipper doesn't really seem to flow as much as I'd like it to, so that makes me a little bit nervous. Uh, again, that zipper might cause problems over the long haul. Inside the tent right now, my feet are, are my toes are basically touching the outside uh, of the tent, and I'm stretching all the way, and I can't touch the top. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, I'm about five feet nine, so plenty of sleeping room in here. And I would imagine, you know, based on me sleeping over here right now, there's probably good room for one, two, maybe three people. I, I think you're hard pressed putting four in here unless some of your folks that are sleeping in here are quite small. Um, I wouldn't recommend sleeping toward, feet towards the door uh, because my head would touch the outside of the tent and my feet touch the bottom. So you're probably gonna be you know, sleeping this direction. I think this is uh, on paper a four person tent, but you're probably gonna get three in here. The height is pretty good though. I'm kneeling right now and my head is touching the top, but it does give you enough room to be able to change and stuff like that, which I always enjoy in a tent. Um, the mesh seems just fine to me. Yeah, I think this is an all right little tent for 80 bucks. I think it's uh, gonna be okay. I do gotta give them this though, but yeah, you got a nice big lip here on the bathtub floor as they call it. And like you can see, there is no seams in the floor anywhere. I could probably have put this a little tighter, but that's not the tent's fault. That seems to be an operator issue. But I mean, you do got a nice, like I said, bathtub style floor with no seams. So that's kind of a nice little thing. Stuff like this doesn't look great, you know, first glance. I mean, you got some straggly looking threads here and there. Um, so that's a little bit concerning, maybe speaks to the construction to a certain the degree. outbound four-person dome tent. I picked it up at Canadian Tire for 80 bucks. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, I would utilize this for, like I said, probably a low-budget camper, somebody just getting into camping, maybe for, you know, a family or one or two people. It looks portable enough to be able to backpack with this thing, which is kind of nice, um, especially if you want to divide out the weight and maybe have one person carry the, the rain fly and the poles and the other guy carry the you know, kind of tent and pegs, for example, but I think you could strap this tent to a backpack quite easily, which is pretty nice. Um, it's lightweight, it's portable, only took 15 minutes to set up. So that stuff is all nice. I do like some of the included little features, right? Like these two little gear bags, the little porthole for the um, electrical cord, you know, a minor little uh, window. So, I mean, it's, it's a nice little tent for sure for 80 bucks. Uh, I don't think that this thing is going to have a long lifespan. Um, I would doubt that this thing will last through um, consistent ongoing use. I mean, the tent material itself does seem pretty thin, and I showed you some of the little workman workmanship issues with the um, threads and stuff like that. So that doesn't give me a lot of optimism for long-term use. But like I said, for somebody getting into tenting, for us, you know, having other camping options and then just mixing this one in for you know maybe tenting trips that I don't want to set up the big hot tent or for you know times where the snack squad is camping with their friends you know I think this is a great option for you know two to four kids to kind of camp out in um, just to give you a little bit more space um, I might potentially use this during hunting season um, you know especially for myself if it's just me or maybe one of the kids and again maybe a short trip where I don't want to set up a big complicated tent I mean this thing I think you know has a place in the world and I think for 80 bucks it's pretty good value so I'm probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, I mean, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments. I'm always uh, there to kind of answer questions that you might have. Um, let me know, you know, your thoughts on this tent overall. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, once again, though, as always, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews and other outdoor related stuff, well, please hit that like, subscribe and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors. It also passed the test of being able to cram it all back into its own gear bag, which also earns it a little bit of praise.